So you don't know what you don't know. I'm going to be doing it and I would recommend that you do it. You may be thinking, Josephine, I thought we're talking about business. That is going to be the key to consistency. So let's get started. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and happy new year. This is Future Me. I wanted to jump on here because I recorded this week's video for you and I recorded everything before I came down to London to my parents and I was looking over the footage and unfortunately I had my ring light on and it was reflecting in my glasses and I do not have enough time to be able to film the video again for you so I just wanted to come here apologize that it's one of these things that's happened and now I know that if I'm wearing my glasses I need to make sure that I check that the ring light is not reflecting it's I've never had this happen to me before so you don't know what you don't know but I just wanted to have a moment of transparency and I really wanted to get this video out to you or else it would have been another week until um, I was able to give you a video. So I hope that you are able to just ignore the ring light and just listen to the value that I provide for you. And yeah, let me know what you think of this video. But thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to let the video continue. Hello everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. And welcome back to my channel. My name is Josephine and I am a business strategist and the founder of the Urusu Collective. There's been a lot going on since we last spoke. The last time you saw me, I was doing Vlogmas. Between then and now, I have celebrated my birthday and I had a low-key birthday, but me and my husband went out for dinner and we had Christmas which I spent with my family and it was great. And I was the one who actually cooked the Christmas dinner. So my mum got to relax and I'm just excited to be here for 2024. I have missed you guys. I didn't get to end Vlogmas how I would have liked, but it's all going to change. I'm so excited for what is going to be happening on my channel in 2024. I'm excited to have you here. If you have been watching my content and you have been enjoying it, but you haven't subscribed to my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and also share this to anyone who you think will enjoy. I'm excited to share with you in this video four strategies that will set you up for a successful 2024. So let's get started. Number one, prioritising your health and wellness. You may be thinking, Josephine, I thought we're talking about business. <laughs> I thought we're talking about success. And you may be surprised that the first strategy that I'm recommending you focus on is your health and wellness. But if there's one thing that I learned from 2023, because I did experience unexpected health challenges, I'm someone who does not usually have health challenges, but I did experience it. We've all heard the saying, your health is your wealth. And so this is why this is number one. I'm going to be doing it and I would recommend that you do it. Focus on your health and your wellness. Prioritise that because if you do not have your health, if you do not do not have a good mental well-being, that will impact every area of your life. Areas that I would recommend you focusing on. Your evening routine. So, for example, my big priority for this quarter is to really focus on my evening routine because that impacts my morning routine. I usually get up very early in the morning and the only way that I can have a great morning routine is if I set myself up the night before and I'm in bed by a certain time so that I can get a good amount of sleep. It's so important. So think about what would your dream evening routine look like based on the time that you wake up in the morning? What time do you need to go to bed? Sometimes we think, oh yeah, it's just about going to bed, but how do you prepare yourself to get to bed so that by the time you want to sleep, you are relaxed, you are ready and you fall asleep? That's something to think about. The next thing is your morning routine. <laughs> What does your dream morning routine look like? What will you do in the morning that sets you up for the day? So I would recommend you kind of brainstorm this if this is something that you want to perfect. 
Another thing is moving every day. You know how much I love my walks, <laughs> my morning walks. This year, I want to take it up a notch. I want to make sure that I am moving every day. I actually, and I'm going to share this with you for accountability, I want to do 10,000 steps at least Monday to Friday. If I can do it in the weekend as well, bonus. But 10,000 steps a day. And so it's something that I want to do. I want to move every day and I would recommend you all do the same. Get out in nature, feel the fresh air. That is, it's going to be great for your mental health. If there's one thing that was amazing for me in 2023, it was my walks. It was getting out in nature. Even if I was having a stressful day or a stressful week, there's something about going for a walk that helps to give you clarity. So I will highly recommend that. Another thing to look at is nutrition. I've mentioned to you before that I am working with my nutritional coach and it has been a game changer. What we eat really impacts how we feel. It's something that as you're prioritising your health and wellness, everyone is different. It's really paying attention to how we feel after eating something. And that's something that I want to take up to another level this year. I want to feel good on the inside when you feel good on the inside, when you are focusing on your nutrition and eating foods that impact how you feel in a good way, it's only going to have a knock-on effect in every area of your life, including your business. When we prioritise our health and our wellness, it's only going to bring better results in our business because we're going to have more energy, be more productive, <laughs> can focus it's just going to have a knock-on effect. We're going to show up and be our best selves in everything we do, show up for our clients. This is why a health and wellness strategy for 2024 is key. And the last thing in terms of health and wellness is self-care. So I want to give you a little exercise. Get a pen and a piece of paper. And I want you to write down all the things that you love to do. It could be something that's free, like for me, it's walking, <laughs> getting out into the fresh air, reading a great book. It could be something that maybe costs a little bit. So it might be a low cost. It might be getting your nails done, getting a manicure or a pedicure, or it could be going to a spa day or having a massage, having a weekly bubble bath. Or it could be something that's on the high end, like booking a holiday. So whether it's a staycation or a, sh a long weekend or a longer holiday, just think about what are the things that you enjoy doing, going to the theatre, going to a concert. Think about all the things that you love to do and I want you to do a brain dump. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little hack so that you're doing something every month. And I can't take credit for this. My friend, my friend Eugenia, um, she actually shared this tip with me and I think she got it from someone else. But I want you to think about the date of your birthday. So for me, it's the 21st of December. And what I want you to do is I want to, you to go through your calendar and wherever the 21st is, every every month on the 21st, either on that actual date, and if you can't do it on that date, that week of that date, where that date falls. So whenever it's, a tw for me, it's the 21st of every month. So either on the 21st, the actual day, or the week of the 21st, I want you to schedule in one of those tasks that you enjoy doing. I always say if it's not in the calendar, it's not happening. So I want you to schedule it in so that you are intentional. When you think about it in the grand scheme of things, that's only 12 times in the year that you have been intentional and scheduled something for you. So if you really struggle to do self-care, that's a challenge that I'm giving you. So I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Let this be the year where we are looking after ourselves, where we are prioritising ourselves and really setting ourselves up to be the best version of us that we can be. Number two, creating video content. Okay, let me explain here. So I've been saying this for a while. I'm a firm believer that the future is video. And so this year, I am going all in. So last year for my YouTube channel, it was all about consistency and just trying to get used to this whole thing. This year, 
I am going all in. I'm very excited about the content that I'm going to be sharing with you. You are going to be getting way more business content, things to do with strategy. You'll still get vlogs. You'll get monthly vlogs, but I'm really going in on the business and entrepreneurial side. And one thing I have said for years is the future is video and it is not too late to start now. Whether it is on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, even on LinkedIn, showing up with video, I really believe the future is video. And if you are able to just create consistent video content, you are setting yourself up for success because it is one of the ways that people can get to know, like, and trust you. They can get to know your personality. They can get to know your expertise and, and the value that you provide. So it's something that I would highly recommend. And if you are someone who struggles to be consistent, I like I've been, I've really learned in 2023 when I launched my YouTube video because I was being consistent and then there was like a bit of a wobble. And so I've really learned what works for me. So if you are someone who struggles to create consistent content, what I would say is that you time block and you batch create. I did this with one of my clients actually, who has a YouTube channel. And in one of our strategy sessions, we actually sat down, looked at her schedule and we decided what her system and her process was for creating content for YouTube. We wanted to set her up for success. So we looked at her schedule. We looked at at what point every month should she film her content? Should she edit and upload? So if you're able to create a system that will set you up for success, you want to make sure that you can schedule in when you plan your content. And that includes even the brainstorming. So you're in the planning phase where it's brainstorming, deciding what actual topics you want to talk about, what kind of content you want to create. Then you want to actually create the content. So create a schedule for when do I actually create the content? Then you want to edit the content and then you want to schedule it in. If you are able to do that, that is going to create some consistency. If you plan ahead, you batch create and you have a system to plan, create, edit and schedule, then you're all good. That is going to be the key to consistency. The same thing with LinkedIn, Instagram Reels, TikTok, even YouTube Shorts, any kind of video content. If you batch create and you create a schedule, it removes overwhelm and it allows you to be consistent. Since I did that with my client, she has been consistently posting on her YouTube channel and it has just removed the stress and the overwhelm. One thing that you will know is that as you are being strategic with the video content that you create, you will be building up your authority and your credibility. So I would encourage you to decide what platform do you want to focus on and go all in. The third strategy that will set you up for success in 2024 is connection. And when I say connection, I'm specifically talking about in-person events. Now, the reason why I've said this is in the past year, I have actually seen a rise in in-person events. Prior to 2020, I was going to a lot of in-person events. I was going to a lot of networking events, talks, panels, a lot of conferences, and I loved it. It was amazing. And then that slowed down over the past few years. This was the first year where I actually started making, being intentional and going to in-person events. At the beginning of 2023, I started doing speaking engagements and I shared this in a previous video where I did a three hour networking workshop and I will link it so that you can check that out if you haven't watched it already. I was also invited by Alice Benham to be the panel for one of her in-person events and that was amazing as well. And towards the latter part of last year, I went to more events, networking events, speaking engagements, and 
it was just amazing. And it reminded me of how much I'd actually missed it and how much I enjoy that in-person connection. And I'm seeing that same sentiment just with a lot of other business owners. I have just be meeting more people. And it's it's one of the quickest ways to actually build that no like, and trust factor, to be honest, when you meet pers- people in person and you just click with them. And so I would encourage you to, to look for more in-person em- em- events, to just connect, meet other business owners. You could meet, end up meeting potential clients. So whether you host or attend events the best is actually if you're able to get a mixture of both but even if you are attend but you're very intentional about it you're very strategic about it hosting events um your own events so it could be a retreat it could be a talk it could be a workshop it could be a panel event you can attend different business events and panels and summits and workshops whatever you prefer i would encourage you to actually look ahead and see what events are coming up see where your idle clients will be hanging out and i would actually encourage you to go go to them it's an opportunity for you to connect with other business owners and connect with potential clients as well and if they get to meet you in person and connect with you and just be sold out on the amazing person that you are then you know it's as i said it's a quicker way for them to know like And And the fourth strategy that I would encourage you go all in for 2024 is anything to do with community. So whether it be building an email list. So that's what that's my focus for this year to finally launch my email list. My business has been built on referrals up until now. And now I'm like, that's it. We're going all in. I'm going to build my email list. I'm going to build community starting from there. Start we just want to encourage engagement. So whether it be building your email list or nurturing your audience through your social media platforms, whichever ones that you have chosen or memberships or participating in memberships or hosting your own. Anywhere where you can f- build and foster community, I believe that that is going to thrive this year. People are missing connection. They are missing connection. As I said before, people are missing in-person connection. And I think now, towards the end of last year, I was starting to see that people are more comfortable and craving to just meet more people. And it's the same thing with community. I believe that if you create a strategy to build community in your business this year, you are setting yourself up for a successful year. It's all about creating engagement with your tribe, with the people who align with your vi- your your vision and your value. And so that is the last one. So just to recap the four strategies that will set you up for success in 2024. Number one, prioritizing your health and wellness. Number two, creating video content. Number three, in-person connection and number four building a community i hope this video was helpful for you and i would love if you can comment below and let me know which one stood out for you more which strategy do you want to go all in with this year in 2024 i would love to know and i want to just cheer you on and support you in the comments And if you are someone who is still mapping out your strategy for 2024 and you need just some clarity on what strategy you should go all in on this year, then I will leave a link in the description box to a complimentary clarifying strategy call where we will go through what your current challenges are. We will identify what strategy you need to be focusing it on and going all in this year to grow your business. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you book that call. I can't wait to meet you, to connect with connect with you and create a strategy that you can focus on in 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a great week and I will see you in the next video.